All right, so we're back in my YouTube channel, Castellic and Blogs. Today, we will be talking about the central limit uh, theorem problem. So this is all about the central limit theorem problems, Castellic and Blogs. So here's problem number one. So AC Nelson reported that children between ages of two and five watch an average of 25 hours of television per week. Assume that the variable is normally distributed and the standard deviation is three hours if 20 children between ages two and five are randomly selected find the probability that the mean of the number of hours they watch television will be greater than 26.3 hours so we're going to take note that the formula that we're going to use here is z is equal to the mean minus uh, the mu over the standard deviation over the square root of n so this is the 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 formula that we're going to use because the problem is finding the probability of the mean of the number of arts not the individual data so we're talking about the mean of the number of hours to watch television will be greater than 26.3 hours. So the first thing that we're going to do after writing the formula is we are going to uh, write the given. So what are the given here? So the first is what is the mean? So the mean is 26.3 and our standard deviation the average here the average 25 hours per week so our mu is 25 so stated and next we have the standard deviation what is the standard deviation so the normal distributed and the standard deviation is 3 hours so 3 and next is if 20 children so if we take it by 20 children between ages 2 and 5 so therefore n is equal to 20. now and after this one by substituting in the formula mean minus the mu over standard deviation the square root of n so we have here 26.3 minus 25 over 3 the square root over the square root of 20. So if we're going to compute that one using your calculator, so the result is 1.3 over 0 .0, uh, 0 0.671. Okay, 671. Okay, equals. If we're going to compute, that is 1.94. So the first, the question that we're going to look at or to, to solve it is for finding the probability that the mean of the number of hours they watch television will be greater than the uh, 26.3 hours. So next step is we need to have our graph. Okay, so this is the mean. So this is the center and 26.3 so will be greater than 26.3 so if we're going to have the twine from zero so this is uh, 1.94 so this is a right tail test so therefore what we're going to do is subtract it by 1 minus the area of 1.94 so if we're going to locate 1.94 here 1.94 that is 9738 so to locate the y minus 0 0.9738 is equal to 0 0.0262 or 2.62%. So therefore, we can conclude that 
that the therefore that the probability that the mean of the number of Rs they watch television larger or greater than greater than 26.3 hours is 2.62%. So this is how we're going to compute. So therefore, our P here is X is greater than, the mean is X greater than 2.3. Uh, 26.3 is equal to 2.62%. So that's it on how to solve problem number one. Let's proceed with problem number two. So the average age of the vehicle registered in the United States is eight years and 96 or 96 months. Assume that the standard deviation is 16 months. A random sample of 36 vehicles is selected. Find the probability that the mean of their age is between 90 and 100. So we are going to illustrate here. Okay. So the mean here is 96. Since they're in terms of minds, so we convert that to 96 minds. And this is 90 and 90 and 100. So that's between 90 and 100. So first, we need to convert this in our Z score here using the central limit theorem formula because we're talking about the mean of the their average age between 90 to 100. So Z1 is equal to 90 minus 96 over, this is 16, the standard deviation over the square root of, which is, you take it a sample of 36. So first we're going to write our given. Our given is our, the mean is our X, our the mean is 96 our x is equal to 90 our mu our standard division is 16 our n is 36 okay so 90 minus 96 over the square root of 16 a uh, 16 over the square root of 36 that's negative 2.25 Next, we compute for our Z2, which is 100 minus 96 over 16 slash over square root of 36. So using your calculator, this is 1.50. So therefore, this is negative 2.25, 0, and 1.50. So that's it. So therefore... To find the area of the Z values, we need to look up for in table E. So in table E, so what is the area of this one and the area of this one? So let us have first the area of negative 2.25. Negative 2.25. Here. Okay. That is... 0 0.0122 and the area for 1.5 is 9332 9, 0 0.9332 so hence the area between two values is we need to subtract this one so 0 0.9332 
minus 0 0.0122. So if we're going to subtract this, the result is 0 0.9210 or 92.1%. So the probability, so therefore the probability, we have to have the conclusion of obtaining sample mean between 90 and 100 points is 92.2. 1% that is our P our mean is greater than 90 but lesser than 100 is equal to 92.1% so that's problem number 2 let's proceed with problem number 3 so the average number of pounds of meat that a person consumes per year is 218.4 pounds. Assume that the standard division is 25 pounds and the distribution is approximately normal. Find the probability that a person selected at random consumes less than 224 pounds per year and the sample is elected. Find the probability that the mean. So take note that there are two questions here. The first question, we're going to use z is equal to x minus the mu over the standard deviation. Why? Because it talks about, okay, so used to gain information about individual data when the variable is normally distributed. So this, we're not talking about the mean here but the individual data per year. And next is the sample here, the mean. So the formula for letter B is this one. So mean minus, minus the mu over uh, the standard deviation square root of N. Because we are talking about the mean of the sample. Okay. So let us first have question number one. But before that, we have to write for our given. So our given here, what is the mean for question number one? Our, our x is equal to 224. Our the mu here, here is 21, uh, 218.4 pounds. And the standard deviation is, what is the standard deviation is? 25 okay we have to compute in our letter a so z is equal to mean minus the square mu over the standard division so what is our mean here is 2 2 4 minus 218.4 over 25 so we have here uh, 0 0.22 so 0 0.22 here 5871 and the area here is 5.5871 or 58.71% so, hence the probability, so we have to get a conclusion, the probability of selecting an individual who consumes less than two to four pounds of meat per year is 58.71% that is our X is lesser than two to four is equal to 
58.71%. Okay, so we just copied here the illustration as 58.71%. Okay, so next we have problem letter B. So in letter B, you have to use this because we're going to get the mean of the sample. So letter B. So Z is equal to the mean minus the mu over standard deviation square root of N. So we're going to illustrate here. Okay. 21.4 and this one is less than 2 to 4. So since this is less than pounds, so we have to compute. So here our mean is 2 to 4 minus 2184 over 25. Okay, 25 square root of 40 that is 1.42 so 1.42 is 0 0.92222 okay the area is area is equal to probability is 0 0.9222 okay so since this is the left of the z so this is the area that we're going to use so Therefore, the probability that the mean of a sample of 40 individuals is less than two to four pounds per year yes zero point nine two 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 or ninety two point twenty two percent that is mean is lesser than two to four is equal to zero point Nine two two two. Okay, so that's it for problem number three. So comparing the two probabilities, so there are two probabilities here. You can see that the probability of selecting an individual who consumed less than twenty four pounds of meat is fifty eight point seventy one percent. But the probability of selecting 40 people with a mean cons consumption of meat that is less than 224 pounds per year is 92.2%. This, this rather large difference is due to the fact that the distribution of the sample mean is much le less variable than the distribution of individual data values. Okay, so... We have to take note when to use this formula. If you want to gain the information about individual data, use this. And if you want to gain the information of line central limit theorem of the sample mean of the variables distributed or when the sample size is 30 or more. So when the sample size is 20 or more. So thank you so much for listening and try this at home. There are two problems that we're going to that we're going to use. So, thank you so much for listening, and this is all about the Central Lima Theorem problem.